Hey, hi everyone. So today's video uh, on my way to work here is about bashing AA. People say all the time, Mark, uh, why does the Freedom Model have to bash AA? Um, well, I'm not, I'm not bashing AA because th that idea assumes that I have some sort of emotional attachment and anger towards the 12 steps. I don't. I don't. I'm over that part. There was a time in my life when I realized uh, the research and the facts and I realized I had been fleeced by the treatment industry and I had been misled by the 12-step paradigm, uh, the whole disease nonsense, the, um, the idea that I needed recovery the rest of my life. When I realized I didn't need any of that, I think I was angry and, and pretty um, shocked, you know, at where the, the research led and that I could be free. And I felt like I had wasted a lot of years. Um, and maybe in those days we bashed AA because it was emotional. But I'm 32 years into this and I've known the facts about AA for a good solid two decades of that. And I don't sit around and I'm not pissed off about any of it anymore. I haven't been for decades. Um, so I'm not bashing anybody, I'm fact giving. I'm, I'm giving the public the facts. And the only reason that certain people feel like we bash AA is because they believe in it. And anytime you challenge somebody's personal ethos, you're going to get emotional about that. And, um, and I understand that emotion. Try to understand that I came out of a recovery-centered family. I have been in and around recovery since my very first memories at four and five years old, where uh, my family was going to AA meetings, AA big books were strewn about the house, uh, AA pamphlets were a part of you know, the tapestry of our home. Um, it was constantly talked about, it's really annoying. Um, and so, so I don't, I don't have any, it's important, I don't have any emotional attachment to it except this. And that is, I want to give you the truth. I want to give people the truth. Now, the truth might be difficult. And so if people don't want to be a part of the Replace AA, uh, initiative that Freedom Model International is doing, don't be. If you, if you really are still, if you feel like I'm bashing your personal ethos and I'm coming after you, um, you're seeing this from a, a, a inaccurate perspective. I, Michelle, Stephen, the entire organization, Danny, Jerry, everybody on this side of the fence has been a part of AA and tried to make it work for a decade. We loved AA. It was a part, it was something that was a part of our lives. Um, and then we learned the truth and we moved on. And it was hard for us. It was hard for us to let that go. Um, so just like it is for all the people that have been immersed in that, in that cult and then realized that it was a bad idea and it's not based in truth. So, so we're not bashing anything except for we're going to challenge people's personal ideas about things and that may seem like bashing. It might, it might challenge it and make it a very emotional thing. Um, all I can say for that group of people specifically is try and look at what we're saying or reject what we're saying and move on and go to AA and enjoy that. If that's, if that's something that's valuable to you, then, then keep going. We don't want to be uh, messing with the people that are loyal to the 12 steps. I have zero desire to try and convert you. That's what they do. I don't want to do any of that. What I want to do is take the 95 out of 100 people that leave AA after they've gone and they're saying, that doesn't resonate with me. I'm not powerless. But they don't understand why they think what they think because they don't know the facts. So they're kind of in that purgatory and it's a terrible place to be. And they're thinking, they're told constantly by our recovery society that, they're, that there's something wrong with them thinking that AA sucks, you know? Or they think there's something wrong with their own thoughts of 
wanting to be free and wanting to not be a part of recovery. That's the person we're speaking to. That's the person who's already questioning the paradigm on their own, on their own. Now, if you're somebody that's immersed in the cult, that's fine. And you want to be a part of that. And that's how you've replaced the bar with AA meetings or NA meetings or whatever, um, rehab, whatever it might be. Um, and, and this really strikes fear in you or strikes anger in you that I'm challenging uh, these ideas. Maybe you should just read the book and see what we're talking about. You can come after us with your platitudes about AA uh, and your slogans and, and the ether. But I already, I've already been on that side of the fence. I was on that side of the fence 3,000 times. I went to over 3,000 AA meetings. It's not like I didn't try to make that work. So, and that goes for Michelle, it goes for Steve, it goes for Jerry, it goes for everybody in, in our organization. I mean, Danny was in treatment like me for over a year. It's not like we weren't on that side of the fence. And we, and we may, tried to make that work, but we couldn't. So, so, so try to understand. Out of 100 people that go to AA, 95 of them leave after a year. They, they don't keep going back. They just don't. They don't all die. They don't all relapse. They don't all go down that path. What they do is they age out of the problem. And they somehow come to the realization that the answer is within them. So, and they don't need meetings or the recovery society. They move on. So, so some of them obviously continue heavy substance use, uh, but not many, but not many. We know that statistically from the studies. So please get your copy of the Freedom Model. It's on audiobook. Uh, you can get it on Audible. You can get it all over the place now. We have it loaded up. Um, or get your free copy, your digital copy uh, at thefreedommodel.org. Um, and use coupon code FREEDOM100 if you want a digital version of the book. Um, and, uh, yeah, or if you're questioning any of this, give us a call. Give Danny a call, Danny White, at 888-424-2626. Um, yeah, if you think I'm bashing AA, it's only because that's we're challenging your ethos. We don't emotionally have any hatred towards AA. We simply are stating the facts and it challenges conventional thinking and that scares people. Um, but there's no reason to be scared because we, uh, we're not pissed. We're not pissed. We're simply stating the truth through research, science, common sense, and logic. All right. It's all in our book. Read our book so that you can be on our side of the fence for a while. God knows we were on your side of the fence for, for a solid uh, group of decades in our lives. And so we understand your side too. All right. I hope you have a great Monday. Take care.